Some of the notifications that you receive are very important. Others, not so much. Telling the difference between the two requires going to your notification shade, pulling it down, and dismissing the unimportant ones so you can hopefully find the important ones. Chat heads and other floating notification style notifications try and tell you who it is that's trying to contact you quicker and faster so that you can determine if that is that important contact that you've been waiting for. Unfortunately, up until now, you've had to have either Facebook Home or some other custom ROM or rooted app that enables this functionality for you. Today, I want to show you one that requires neither. Let's go take a look. This is my Nexus 4. It is rooted, but yours does not have to be. I have just installed floating notifications, and the first thing it tells me once I've installed it and run it for the first time is that I need to turn on my accessibility options for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's very simple. You just go ahead and turn that on. It tells you that by doing so, it can collect the information uh, that you type into text, such as credit card information. Although that is a possibility, it's really not likely. It's just the method that you need to be able to do this. Now, we are also familiar with that, if I can get back over here, on Pebbles. So there's my uh, Pebble smartwatch right there. That also uses the notification uh, and the accessibility schema, if you will, the service to get information over onto the watch, the same way as this uses it to get it onto the floating notifications on your screen. So once that is done, then we can simply go back home, scroll around a little bit, and you'll notice everything looks just the same. If I want to get to my uh, notification shade, I pull it down. That's my current notifications, and now we wait. The first thing you'll notice is the app does put a notification on the screen for you. I can move this around wherever I want just by tapping and dragging, or I can set it there where after a few seconds of inactivity it tucks itself neatly off the side of the screen. This is a notification from the app itself saying, hey, the service is running, it's doing what it's supposed to. To dismiss it, you simply tap on that, it's all gone. Now to do what this is really supposed to do, let's go ahead and send a Google Hangout chat. Go ahead and do that. You can see it comes across right over here. I do get the notification up here in my notification bar, but to get it, I've got to pull it down and, and look at it. Here I can just tap, it's from Michael Levi, he says, hi. So we'll tap on that and it opens us right up into the conversation thread. There are very few things that you can do to come in and customize the app, but you really don't need to. It does most of it for you. Coming in here, we'll just launch the app. We can choose a theme. The one that you've been seeing has been default light. If you are running a darker theme, you can choose default dark. Underneath that, you can change the icon size. The default is 100. You can make that larger or you can make that smaller. You can also change the font size larger or smaller as well. Just be advised, the larger the font size, the more of the screen it's going to cover up and the less of the message you're going to be able to see on extremely long messages. You can change your animation settings and other stuff here. Don't show the, uh, the notification for the currently open app. You're in it. You don't need to see those notifications. And then if you want to close the stack after pressing an action, you can do that as well. Animation settings. I've got mine set to dock a few seconds uh, of inactivity after it's shown that alert, so it'll just tuck those notifications right away for you, just in case you're not looking at the, the device itself when you get that notification. Next, uh, I, I don't have the fade after a few seconds of inactivity when the stack is closed. I like having it there, but that's really a personal preference choice. The amount of the icon that is hidden when it's docked, in my case, and the default is 50%. You can choose more or less. You can also expose these on your lock screen. I would, however, recommend that you hide the notification text when locked, just in case that might be a little bit more private and you don't want people who uh, are just picking up your device off your desk or whatnot to be able to see it. Advanced settings, you need to be careful. I haven't messed with them, but there's a double tap threshold that you can set in there. I don't know why that would be dangerous, but you know, whatever. The version of floating notifications that we showed you here was Alpha 4 RC1. If you'd like to pick up that copy, or if there's a newer version available, head over to pocketnow.com. The link is down in the description below. We will provide the way for you to get the latest version of this app directly onto your device. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and share this information with your friends via your favorite social networking. We've got links to all of ours down below. For Pocket Now, showing off notifications and cool things you can do with your Android. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.
few 